Hello everyone, my name is PJ and welcome back to my Let's Play of Off Part 7, my 100 subscriber special. Okay, so today we're probably going to be able to finish Zone 2 if I hurry up. Now, last time we explored the entire shopping mall, which was mainly just to get access to the amusement park. I'm not really totally sure what the point of the shopping mall was, I guess minor bits of lore here and there. Uh, my friend Tyler told me that whale is a slang term used for people who like to spend shit tons of money, which is why I ran into it in the shopping mall. Although that's not where people usually run into the whale, its other appearance makes a lot less sense. Either way, um, when we came to the amusement park, we won a necktie, so we'll be able to use that to get into the residential district. And we got ourselves a photo of us and a statue of Zachary, which the Elson believe is actually Zachary. So we come to this guy over here. This this is the boss's office. I cannot let you enter unless maybe you know him personally. Let's see. Is is that a photo of the boss? And and you're right next to him? On a roller coaster? But that's terribly dangerous. Well, at any rate, I guess you're a friend of the boss. You may enter. Yep, but no one's here. You you shouldn't ride on roller coasters. Who knows what can happen? Yeah. A Taurus orb. Oh, more of these. Libra orb, Scorpio orb. Yeah, these are the only six kinds in the game. Virgo orb, Capricorn orb, and Gemini orb. Yeah, but now we have two of each. Okay, so every time they give you them, it's usually all at once. But this is a completely optional room. You never have to do any of the roller coaster stuff. Yeah, so these people are all freaking out for nothing. Like, one of them turned burned and we killed him, so the rest of them think that there are specters in the park, which there aren't. Which is unusual, because it's like the only place in Zone 2 without specters. I mean, that's actually the safest place in the entire zone, and it's where people seem to be the most paranoid. And so something unusual happened on DeviantArt. Somebody posted a comment on my thumbnail for this game. I was trying to convince them to watch my Let's Play, and I told them that it's very different from Mark's Let's Play of it because it's not blind and is actually more analytical. And for some reason he thought I was insulting him. Not the commenter, he thought I was insulting Markiplier. I love Markiplier! Markiplier is my favorite YouTuber! Every night I go to sleep listening to his scary games playlist. I wouldn't even be playing off right now if it weren't for Markiplier. I, I don't know where he got that from. But anyway, here we are in the residential district. Before I go in there, I definitely want to save. Because this next part has a time limit. This next part also has my favorite song in the entire game. And I want to do a musical highlight for it, but the... Time limit might not let me. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably going to just pause the video and let you listen to the song. Oh, oh yeah, I had to put the necktie on. Yes, I can put my tie on here. Good idea. Oh, and the blocks just go away. Okay. And you don't say anything new. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna need my notepad out. There is still time to repent of your omissions, ungrateful wretches. Crave my pardon immediately, or I will send you back to limbo this instant. Did you hear something? Poor Cretans, I am here, right in front of you, ready to send you to hell! So, are you ready to apologize to your father and protector, you band of wimps? There's nothing but an old cat up there. Yeah, so, they don't recognize him. It could be a dangerous cat. It has sharp claws. Yes, and it can spread disease. Have you heard the story of a guy who got scratched by a cat? Ah! I hate you! I hate you all! But where's that voice coming from? Must be someone who's in a bad mood. Yeah, he should take the time to relax and enjoy this place. So flat and quiet. Here, we're safe. 
but that was me. It was I who made it all like that for you. Are you all so blinded by your pathetic fear of living? This is all rather strange, isn't it? That is it. I'm going to teach you to respect me. Now he seems capable of summoning the specters. I love this song. Unfortunately, this is the only place in the entire game where you can listen to it. And it's a thematically appropriate song because now we have to rush and fast. Okay, door opens the code. Don't know the code. Okay, let's just quickly scan this thing and... Porter Spectre, Saturated Ectoplasmic Incarnation. Nothing more to it. And then we'll auto-kill them all, just to make this go as fast as possible. I'm hoping those are the only kind of enemies here. I think there's dropped Joker. Seven phantoms left. No, Bismarck is way too quiet for this. Save us, for pity's sake, save us! But there are a lot of codes that you have to find during this scene. You can't just kill the enemies. Well, you can, but you won't find everything if you do. There's still ghosts everywhere! Quickly, save our city! You don't say anything. Okay. You gotta find the people that tell you the codes. They're going to find me! There's no place to hide! I don't want to get hurt! Please, help me find the bunker. You know, the one with 1805 is the code. Now, these things drop a lot of jokers. Damn. Someone close the door from the inside! Let me in, it's dangerous out here! I can't get in, the specters will hurt me! Ah! How do I get in there? How do I get you out of the way? Ah! Ah! I'll soon have no more saliva to shop with! C come on. Where are the leaders? Who's responsible for all this? That's a good question. Where are your leaders? Wait, come on, I know you're in here. There. More phantoms left. Ah, specters! Specters everywhere! Okay, uh, I haven't been watching the clock. How much time do I have left? Still over half the time. This is too much agitation for my brain. I think it might kabloosh! <laughs> and one of them turns burnt. Is this just what happens when an Elson can't take anymore? 
Like they just go insane. I I did not deserve this. Two phantoms left. I better make sure I don't kill the last one until I found everything. What are these? It's an announcement. In the event of an attack, the bunker the bunker appointed to you is the northern one. Ask the person in charge for the code. It's an ad for the park. Since the closure of the roller coaster, the park is much less dangerous. No, no, I have done nothing by pity. What? Oh, okay. You've done nothing except pity? Or you've done nothing in the name of pity? Photographic blur, a new move for Omega. I'll have to look at that later. Please tell me you pity me. Okay. Oh, let's see if that first door can be opened by this code. No? Oh, god damn it. I don't want to kill the last phantom. The adrenaline is pumping so fast, it's going to drown my nervous system. I'm going to die. Is that even how that works? Okay, I'm in. Treasure chest? A piece of golden flesh. Is that all this was for? I know there was another code. Hmm. It's that guy. Or in here? Maybe it's you. No, no, leave me alone. I'll tell you everything. The code of the Southwest Bunker. 1402. Please leave me be now. Code of the Northeast Bunker. I don't know, I'm not in charge of that particular bunker. Too much responsibility is stressful. Southeast bunker. Don't know. Okay. I am not going to have enough time. Well, the timer is going to run out. Then I'll see what happens, and then we'll try again now that I know the codes. Too late. over. That song. Most people don't hear that song. It's called Stay in Your Coma. And it's the basis for the most popular theory concerning the story of this game. Yeah, but now I have to try that part again. Okay, so I should have this code now. Ah, they found me! I've been found! Okay. No, no, go away, Mask of the Red Death! What? What does that even mean? Hmm. Weird. Ah, what terrible pain! Michael Matt has been found. Ooh, cool. And that was worth it. That might be a one-of-a-kind weapon. My disgustingly limited knowledge of baseball aside, I can only assume that that's not referring to Michael Jordan in the short time he played baseball. Okay, so this douche won't get out of the way. 
I think we might have to come back here during the one time we can come back here and open that gate later. We should still be able to get the code for it at that time. Right now, let's just take out the specters. I believe I've spoken to everyone. And I'll have these codes for later in case those doors relock. Okay, I know the code to this already. I can just come in here and grab this. How many phantoms are Oh, there's one up there. I forgot about you. Okay, is that all of them? Yep. All the phantoms have been purified. I purified this place, but the zone has not yet been freed of its true pest. Where can I find Jaffet? Jaffet? Who's Jaffet? That's kind of odd, they don't even know their own guardian? The cat who directs the specters. Uh, the cat? Um, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we thank you for helping us. But, uh, that thing you have there? My bat? Yes, your bat. That's an awfully dangerous object. I'll have to ask you to leave the residential area. And give us your tie. You, you should understand, of course. It's a measure of security. The tie has been lost. Ungrateful bastards. I am embarrassed, I admit, but it appears that I need you and your puppet's purifying intentions, dear PJ. Valerie, my beloved brother, appears to have fallen off the rails of consciousness and into the depths of uncontrollable madness. Yeah, we noticed. He calls himself Jeffet and in addition to being the royal agent he has never been, proclaims himself chief of the specters. Two roles he has usurped, no doubt. Nobody in this world, I can assure you, has any control over the ectoplasms. Hmm. Except perhaps the queen, but I have yet to find any concrete evidence or testimony to prove this hypothesis. Anyway, Valerie settled on the roof of the library. And although I suppose this could have just been a coincidence, it seems that ghosts are swarming the corridors of the same building. I believe this is a perfect mission for you, full of all that gratuitous violence which you seem to revel with glee. Okay, I'll go to the library. I will follow you. Oh, okay, the judge didn't actually join our party, he's just with us now. Okay, so we got a couple things from that. First off, Omega learned a new ability. Photographic Blur. Attack ignoring the adversary's defense. Pretty cool. Yeah, so it seems like Omega's competences are named after... Photography editing. Like, perspective and blur. It's kinda odd. Hmm. Also, I never showed you... His status. His class is Sun. So we have Savior, Father, and Son. Man, I have a lot of money. And we got a new bet, which is still only slightly stronger, but I don't know, I guess these small numbers mean something? It seems that the residential area has been attacked by specters. I, I don't dare go there ever again. Where will you sleep then? Do you sleep? I get to see beds. Well, into the library we go, I guess. Wonder if you have anything new to say. You you're gonna go up to the roof? That's dangerous, isn't it? Well, don't be too loud, please. No promises. Are you gonna save here? Save every opportunity you get. Even though this game is really easy. That's probably the only game over I'm ever gonna get. Hello, what's this? Drawing from his waning forces, he created the library more beautiful than ever before. Its height pierced the smoking clouds, and there he stood. Talking about Jaffet? Huh. Hmm. I don't recall this song from the soundtrack.
Yeah, but this is the place people usually run into the whale. Which is met with all the more confusion. Which is, why would you run into a flying whale on the balcony of a library? Much like a guardian angel, he had done everything for them. He had brought them peace, security, and entertainment. Such was his generosity. For a while, that was all good and well for all. They enjoyed the new land with the innocence of a child. They were running down the streets, enjoying... Uh, okay. Something. But the dynamics of the world soon drove the people mad. They forgot about their joys and eventually succumbed to their neurosis of fear and worries. They weren't... Okay. Yeah, that seems like progress. What's over here? Ooh. What are these? Wide angle. We know about that one. Junior Spectres. Minor, minor ectoplasmic incarnations. Light weakness against smoke. Well, they are weak. Batters level 11. No new abilities. Meanwhile, the flaming winged sovereign weeped on his throne. Their joys saddened to have been forgotten by men. He had no more time for their worries. So basically, the guardian of zone 2, this firebird, created this entire zone for people to be happy and carefree, and they became kind of desensitized to it because their lives were so goddamn perfect. So now they're just unbelievably paranoid of every tiny little thing, unable to be happy anymore, and they'd completely forgotten about their guardian. Imagine how the guardian must feel. By the way, this is the most sense that you're gonna get out of this game, as far as logic is concerned. And so the flaming bird turned into a cat, and the cat into a ruler. Driven insane by his anger and sadness, he summoned forth a storm of evil spirits upon his subjects. His madness had... Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Who wrote that? That has to have been recent, because they weren't being attacked by specters before. While the specters were destroying the world he had created, he sought... Shelter, I'm assuming that's supposed to be. At the summit of his most wonderful creation, the Great Library. Okay. So, he turned into a cat. It still doesn't make much sense. I thought the cat was... The judge's brother, Valerie. There was nothing else to be done but wait for the man who would rise forth to destroy him. But deep inside his soul, there was no doubt that what he did was evil. The end. Who wrote this? Also... Um... What? Was I supposed to be running down all those fucking numbers? God damn it. Now I gotta go all the way back down. Okay, I'm gonna assume this means that 1 is 4. And it doesn't want me to hit 1 and then 4. That'd be too confusing. You wouldn't be able to figure out the order. Without lots of trial and error. 2 is 9. 3 is 9. 5 is 1. 4 is 7. 6 is 6. 7 is 4. And I remember 8 is 0. Yep, so, let's see. 1 is 4, 2 and 3 are both 9, so I hit it twice. 4 is 7, 5 is 1, 6 is 6, 7 is 4, and 8 is 0. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, hey, look who it is. <laughs> nice view from up here, don't you think? It almost makes me forget that this is only a video game. There it goes again. Reminding us of that for some reason. So this... And this... Suppose I can sell these. Yeah, by the way, you can sell the necktie. It's a bug. If you sell the necktie before it's taken from you, well, if you sell it at all, then the game becomes unbeatable. You break it. So, never sell it. I can sell those photos. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> now, what do you have to sell? Quite a lot of stuff. Well, I'm gonna buy all of this between episodes, because I wanted to finish this zone today, but I'm over time already, so I have to stop. That's unfortunate, but in the beginning of next episode, we'll be the boss of this zone. So, thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked this episode, leave a like and a comment. I'm still just starting out, and likes and comments both mean a lot to me. If you want to be notified when I upload more videos, subscribe and you will. And if you want to support me on Patreon, there'll be an end code at the end of the video and a link in the description below. So, I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, how did you blow up me and the RC car at the same time? Oh my god, stop it! Stop it! Just get out of the cage! Really? You shot me while I was in mid-air.